Hey, hey, it's Laura Messiah, and today I am not alone. We are busting into what I'm calling the Beyond Style Expert Series. I just thought of that right now, right now. So today I have my longtime hairstylist here, Philip. Hey. And we're just gonna mm -hmm. chat. You guys know I always talk about my hair journey, which you've been mm -hmm. a big part of. Uh, so I thought we'd talk about that, talk about how we know each other, and then a bunch of you submitted questions specifically for Philip, so we'll bust into those as well. Hey. How's it going? You know, <laughs> doing, doing what I do. Uh -huh, lovely being here with you. Yeah. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I know, you saw me, what, two days ago? Mm -hmm. Cut. Cut, cut That's hair. right. Ho hope I did okay styling oh, it myself. Absolutely. So looks great. I was just thinking mm -hmm. about how when we first met, you weren't there in the precursor mm -hmm. to when we met. Mm -hmm. So let me tell you, black women in Los Angeles, it's hard to find someone to do your hair. And when you first move here, it's awkward. So I had this like, you know, very nice white boy doing my hair but he didn't know what he was doing. So I was rocking the undercut and I was getting relaxers still to keep my hair straight, but we had also decided to dye my hair blue. I had blue underneath, black on top, okay? And then my relaxer was like getting funky and I was like, let me just, you know, you know, touch myself mm -hmm. up. Well, I'm in the shower and my hair starts coming out in clumps. No. And I had to shave my head, like in the back, I had to shave it. It was like short undercut, I had to shave it. I had to mm. full undercut it. So I was just wrecked. I was like, I'm not going back there again. And I was at the grocery store one day and saw a girl who had super cute hair. And I said, excuse me, where to get your hair done? And she said, oh, I go to this place called Simply Raw. This guy, Philip, does my hair. Here's his number. So I gave a call and boom, the rest is history. That was what? Eight years ago? Probably, probably eight years ago, and probably about a hundred haircuts. Yes. Since. Yes. yes. So, yes. Uh, yeah, tell, tell the people how many different hairstyles you've given me. This fashionista here, she keeps me on my toes. I love, I love different, but she gets, she brings it. I would say she would be my Rihanna in the chair. You know, from gray hair to long hair. A uh, buzz cut, hair shaved off on one side. I, I mean, I could probably make a calendar. I, probably yeah, a, a probably a, yeah, yeah, a calendar. Hair. Yeah, with all her haircuts and hairstyles and hair colors. But she brings it, and I love it. I love it. So I moved when I when you first started doing my hair. I think I lived. Um, oh yeah. I think I lived in Hollywood. Yes. So it wasn't much of a drive. But mm -hmm. then I ended up moving next door to the salon. Yes. And how convenient. Anytime I'd like try somebody different, like cuz it like you don't do braids for example. No. Like that's not your specialty. No. So I went somewhere and got my hair braided mm -hmm. and then I had some other fool braid my hair. Remember that? I remember that episode. So this guy came mm -hmm. over again, not a black person. And I'm just saying, I'm not saying to discriminate. I'm saying it's better I find it's better to have black people doing black hair. For the most part. I agree for the most part, just like people know skin tones, makeup artists, different, yeah. you know, I've been on photo shoots where I'm like, oh no, this is going to be a long drug out photo shoot because they look like they belong in a casket. Yeah. Their makeup L is not. Like, yeah, like they don't understand. So yeah. someone who was not black put <laughs> braids in my hair and he didn't understand my texture. So he <laughs> bought the wrong hair to braid in. Oh, wow. And remember I look crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I was like, I look. I don't even think I called you. I think I just walked over there and was Ooh. like. <laughs> that was a frightful sight. You came in, you were like, <laughs> look. I said, whoa. And then not, not, not only that, you took a snapshot of your passenger side with a couple of braids sitting yeah. there. So first, like I looked like a crazy lion, like there was so much hair. So I had you go in oh, and yeah. like kind of like, you know, shoot, like thin it out. Thin it out. Uh, 
And then the next day, when I was driving, braids just started like just flying. That part. I got a picture. I'm like, whoa. So I, so I sent you a picture. I was like, this is ridiculous. And I ended up just like being able to like basically finger comb mm. like braids out mm. of my freaking head. Yeah. So that was one of the fi many fixes you did. Yeah, they weren't executed too well. The time I got the oh. bad weave. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we have had a couple of journeys. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, but I said, you know what, don't worry, don't sweat it, you know, it's some, I mean, it's major, but I try to calm down the problem, don't sweat the small stuff, this yeah. is small. So he's, like, always there for me, like, even when I hair cheat, he comes in and saves oh, yeah. the day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so the last part of the journey, I'll let you tell the tale, I was, I went, like, probably a year with weaves when I was when Kurt was doing my uh -huh. hair and then I you know I just got tired of it I was like this is too much mm -hmm. and I had short hair with you yeah. and I went years trying to grow it out mm -hmm. and then I was getting the weaves and I said mm -hmm. I'm done yeah. and I came in and yeah. what did I say you said I need it all off I just need to be free I'm like really he says no I'm not I don't want to be confined to this hair anymore yeah. and I'm like whoa can I record it and we recorded it now she has a bundle of hair on the floor everyone was like shocked like what <laughs> you know but it was it was a freeing experience for her because yeah. my own hair because we took out the weave mm -hmm. and then my own hair uh -huh. was like almost to yeah. here probably yeah. past your shoulders and he was like are you sure yeah and sometimes people you know like an impulse buy or impulse cut what did i do what have i done but no lauren is lauren has had many looks so she's quite comfortable and I love this. And I think you're the master at short hair. Thank you. Thank you. I try my best. I find myself intrigued with it because it's always a change. Yeah. Yeah. So speaking of master, what's how did you get your start? That well, was one of the questions. Okay. Well, um, I'm an artist, first of, first, um, visual. And Otis Parsons is a very expensive school. So my parents weren't really intrigued on <laughs> shelling out that type of money. So I used to cut everyone's hair on my block, and I was quite talented at it. Um, my father told me, he says, that's bootlegging. I was like, what's bootlegging? And he says, well, it's something that you do without a license. I'm like, but they want me to do this. So he, I found literature on bootlegging, um, you know, without a license. So basically, you know, if you're found out upon not getting a license, it sometimes will hold you stagnant. Really? You know, you'll be fined. And I, I, mean, I couldn't fathom the ideas. Like, let's say if a person is a pie maker, if you want these pies, yeah. then you're selling to the public, why, why can't you do it? But yeah, you know, rules and regulations, you know. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I ended up going to hair school, loved it. And then from there, I found a great place called Simply Raw. And I was able to get on over there and have the uh, apprentice program. And it was a great thing. I had my fair share of celebrities come through there. At that time, it was the pinnacle of salons. Who Denzel Washington used to be there. Uh, yeah, yeah. A couple of comedians. Ayala Van Zant. Uh, um, Tyra Banks has sat in my chair. And she's taking me on the fashion week. It allowed me to do a lot of other great things. Really? Uh-huh. I was able to work on a set of uh, higher learning. A couple other good people. Um, some of them that aren't in the show business anymore. But I've been able to go on a set and do, you know, a little fluff and puff on people in, in, yeah, a, yeah. in a green room. Yeah. And I got to meet some people. Got to play with Janet Jackson's hair before. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, it's been a great journey. Wow. As well as all my moving stars that come in <laughs> and allow me to, you know, change them up. Yeah. It's been a great experience. Yeah, and then you recently, they closed. Yeah. That was so... Yeah, with the city doing this major change, you know, they upped the rent, you know, that building may become a high rise, like that one next door. Oh. That used to be our parking lot. Yeah. So, um, you know, and just the other day, they just closed down uh, Marie Calendars. Where can I get a pie? <laughs> <laughs> <I guess. laughs> Can't get your hair done. Can't no. get a pie. Right, right. Oh my golly. Yeah. But, but you moved, so now, you know, I can't just walk over there with the no, hair emergency. It might but be a little hike. Now we're mm. set up, so I don't really have yes. as many emergencies. No. So we're thinking about our next move, because you know I, I get bored, like, so easy yeah. with my hair. Yeah. And I got my colors done the other day, and she said that I could pull off platinum. Mm -hmm. 
So we're talking mm-hmm. about platinum. Mm-hmm. And the text that I send this man, <laughs> I'm just going to <laughs> Whenever I try something new with hair, I'm always terrified of like how it might turn out. Mm-hmm. I've sent you photos of like Harriet Tubman. <laughs> De- all kind of stuff. Oh my oh, goodness. My, oh wow. Does my hair look wow. like this? I find myself like cracking up. I'm like, what are you laughing at? What did you just see? I'm like, mm, Lauren sent an inappropriate mm-hmm. text mm-hmm. again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I was I'm getting excited about the potential of the of the platinum because you mm-hmm. you you're for it. Oh yeah. He's for it. Yeah. A little Zoe Kravitz situation. Yeah. But then yesterday I was like, what if I turn out looking like Cisco? Well, just get a thong, the thong, thong. <laughs> Start singing that song. Yeah. But no, we, 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 there's so many different hues now. You know, at that time, you know, blonde, platinum. Now we have different colors. People are rocking colors like this and this in their hair. Yeah. So there's so many different hues that we could switch up. And I guess without. it's so short. My hair grows uh-huh. so fast. Uh-huh. It would grow yes. out if it yeah. looked horrible. Yeah. We all still love me if I looked like Cisco. Mm. Mm. You eat all your vegetables pretty good. I your do. hair goes quick. It, I'm in there mm. every th- what three weeks? I'm in there. Pretty with much. You? Yeah. 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 You ready for some questions? Okay, let's go. All right. Here's mm. what the people want to know. I have my own opinions on this question. Uh, is it essential to do your hair every day in order to look presentable? This person says, all I do is wash my hair and brush it in the morning, and I don't like to use heat. Are there simple tips and tricks to looking smart and professional? So basically, part one, do you have to do your hair to look presentable? That would be an essential thing to do, just like washing your face in the morning. Right. You know, some people decide to just run out of the door. I'm like, is that sleep in your eye? I'm like, okay, did you have ketchup or something <laughs> yesterday? You know, so I would, I would recommend fluffing and puffing, doing something to your hair, styling products, something. Mm-hmm. You know, brushing your hair back. And now you have a, I would always say, the cut is the style, the style is the cut. You may be able to rock it and go somewhere real quick, you know, but mm-hmm. styling products, that's, that's essential to, you know, create yeah. a shine. Yeah, and I would say like, I mean, this hair, like, changed my life. Seriously. My life is so easy now. I don't care if people think I look like a butthead. I'm staying like this because it's so easy. But you help hook me up with the right products where it's so easy and it looks so much different. So, you know, when I go to the gym in the morning, I'll usually just just go. You know, and it looks fine because, like you said, the cut, Mm -hmm. when you got a good cut... But sometimes I'll pull a little something and everyone's like, oh my God, did you get a haircut? What did you do? And mm-hmm. it was literally just mm-hmm. a quarter size thing mm-hmm. of product, but the right product. Right. And a friend of mine, she has the same cut. She goes, how does your hair look so good? I said, because I asked my hair person everything he uses. Do I not buy every Yeah. Product? Oh, yes. And sometimes you take pictures of the aisles that you're on. I'm like, okay, no, get out of that aisle. You belong in the other aisle. Yeah. Yeah. And I told her about this product, and mm-hmm. she was like, oh, my God, game changer. So, yeah, Ooh. I believe you got to do something to your hair every day to be presentable. Yes. Something. Yes, it's a fiber, just no different than your skin. If you don't moisturize your skin or, yeah, you know, give yourself a mask from time to time, you're going to be yeah. not that great. You're going to look crusty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. So simple tricks to looking smart and professional. So obviously we hit like product. Yes. Uh, what else is like really simple that you can um, do? A styling tool like a brush or a comb. Uh-huh. Sometimes people decide to just put product in your hair and think it's going to work magic. No, and sometimes you have to work with the product in conjunction with water sometimes. Yeah, sometimes people just take a whole tube and put on their hair. I'm like, no, it's not supposed to be white. You know, it's supposed to, you're supposed to emulsify it uh-huh. in your hand and get it through the hair. And, one a good uh, game changing tip that you gave me was taking the spray bottle mm-hmm. with some conditioner mm-hmm. and some water in it, mm-hmm. and shaking it up and yeah. just giving yourself a little, yeah. a little spritz, yeah. and that, that could, really helps. That could be your friend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, love it. Okay, uh, this person wants to know about is it necessary to adapt current trends to like the shape of your face, so like a current hair trend. Let's say someone who had like a really square face wanted a pixie cut. Would yes. you adjust how the pixie cut looked or do hairstyles just look good on every type of face? No, I would say, you know, just like 
body shapes. You know, a person may come in and they may want what Holly Berry has, but yet their neckline may not be conducive to that cut or their jawline. You know, sometimes people can't rock the short haircut mm -hmm. like yours because maybe they don't have the same features. So you have to know how to tell the person, no, we'll, we can't get you on that block, but we'll get you on another block that'll work for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, what I, that's what I have to tell people. I want to look just like this. I'm like, well, plexus surgery would be the case, the go-to, but I wouldn't recommend that. Right. But, um, so let's try another haircut. So yeah. something I tell mm -hmm. my clients in terms of dressing for their body is to find, you know, a celebrity or an icon that has a similar body right. and then to kind of pick, you know, cuts of clothing that might work good, be well for you. Would you say the same thing? Like if I'm looking at, for example, when I look at haircuts I want, mm -hmm. I kind of look to the same kind of celebrities because I know we have similar skin tone or features. Correct. I think. Correct. Is that, am I that would be with? That would be a, a great template to start with. Sometimes people don't know. It's, you know, but you do know. Right. You, know, you find someone that looks almost similar or the same head shape. Mm -hmm. You know that that will work for you. you yeah. Know? You know it's 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 no different than if I go and get some clothes and I say I want to look like this, but you don't have the torso like The Rock. Right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's, it's the same scenario. Yeah. I need to find someone that's my. Yeah. Type. Right. Body type. You mean that T-shirt's not going to make you automatically look like The no, Rock? No. <laughs> no. That's so true. No, a Gold's Gym shirt may not make me look like yeah. the rock, you yeah. know, so you have to know what works for you. <laughs> yeah, that's a really, yeah, I don't think people think about that with hair. Mm -hmm. They're like, I want that haircut uh -huh. and you might look crazy. Mm -hmm. And then they probably get mad at you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And you have to know how to say, uh-uh, time out, not with this one, you know. Older ladies, let's say, for instance, if they are vivacious and or luring still, uh, you know, like a Helen Mirren, you know, she's still considered like, wow you know yeah at her age so you would find people that's in your lane or similar to you mm -hmm. you know same same scenario with clothes hair makeup stay in your mm -hmm. lane stay in your lane <laughs> stay in your lane uh are there any styling tips or hair styles that you can share for natural hair that's another question here rocky natural hair sometimes it can be challenging for some people because it's not as easy to, you know, it, it requires styling product. You know, that's a, that's a game changer for people. You know, sometimes when your hair is very curly, it could be unruly. So you need emollient to go in there and make the hair more sleek mm -hmm. and um, more manageable, I would say. And I'd say for me, you know, because we had been doing relaxers forever and then I came in and said I always come in and drop some sort of bomb on him I'm like we're going natural he's like okay okay you know yeah. and so we transitioned we cut the relaxer off but it was really helpful to me to ask you questions like I ask so many qu mm -hmm. questions I'm like what do I need to use how do I need to use it I would say ask your hairstylist questions when you trust someone because I've wasted so much money buying all of these natural hair products that I read about on a blog or see about from a YouTuber, mm -hmm. and we don't have the same hair, right. and I just waste money. Right. So like product, but getting the right product getting the for right sure. Uh-huh, I agree. I am, what did I tell you before? I said, you know what, just ask me a question. No question is a silly question. And basically, because I want people to be comfortable. You know, you leave the salon and you go to the store and you're buying all these products, and now you, you open them, now you can't take them back. You know, right. you know, and there's been times you've given me some products, I can't use this. Yeah. I'm like, okay, let me play with this. Yeah. You know, because someone has a different type of hair texture. Yeah. And, it, and it worked. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I know, because sometimes I get like, you know, enchanted by different products mm -hmm. like packaging mm -hmm. and they're and then knowing full well they're not like for my hair mm -hmm. you know everyone has a different hair type and yeah different products do different things yeah. um what here's another question what is the best product for curly hair that keeps the hair soft and curly throughout the day without touching up without touching up i would say a hair product that has moroccan oil in it moroccan i think oil. curly hair could be unruly so you need to soften it 
some rocking oil or argan oil things that have those type of products products that have a high alcohol content no get away get away okay uh -huh. Make, it dries it the hair out yeah gotcha mm -hmm. makes it unruly more unruly moroccan mm -hmm. argan oil okay yeah. and then we'll end with this question because this sounds like a good story could probably come out of it mm -hmm. common mistakes people make with their hair that are tough to fix what is like some train wrecks that have came through hmm. that have been like fix this and you're like damn letting their relatives or friends play in their hair go get a box of something mm -hmm. oh uh -huh. yeah you'll be surprised people see things on infomercials then they order it come to find out it may have battery acid in it or something jesus you know? yeah for real yeah really yeah a couple of years ago well several years ago was something that people were purchasing online it's supposed to be a natural product and it will relax their hair but it had some type of product in it that was equivalent to like battery acid so they had a class action suit really yeah. so now we had hmm, the place was called rio or the product uh -huh. so now we had real victims come in now they needed their hair cut off <gasps> or re-moisturize or you know just had the doctor them up yeah, yeah. Have yeah. you ever had to do like some major like hair cutting off where there was tears because someone really screwed their hair up? Oh yeah, yeah. It was a point of no return, like bleaching, you know, high bleach, uh, high lift bleach. You know, when your hair is patchy and it's falling out, what can you do? You have to bring it to a happy, happy medium, because it's it's an imbalance. Short hair here, long hair there. You have to, you know, bring it. You mm -hmm. have to take it back to ground zero. Right. Because it was going there anyway. It's falling yeah. out. Because something I like about you is like you always believe in, in healthy hair. Like yes. You, you never do anything crazy that's going to compromise no. the hair. Healthy hair is more important to me. People may want a hairstyle that has ounces and ounces of uh, gels and hairsprays, but that won't be conducive to healthy hair. You mm -hmm. know, it's going to dehydrate. It's going to take away. It's going to draw out all the moisture in the hair. And you don't want that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's no different than a person not drinking water. You know, if they're you know drinking alcohol all the time, their skin is gonna look mm -hmm. not too great. Right. Not too great. Right. Nice. Mm -hmm. So when are you gonna start your YouTube channel? Where you're gonna Ooh. give hair tips? This Thank man. You. Every time I go to the salon, I get like I learn all these tips and tricks. Like that's been the only thing that's kept me through. Like not just completely shaving my hair off i learn i pick up things i feel like i'm getting better and i you keep are. saying you are get share the knowledge because okay. not a lot of hair people share i appreciate you you know and yeah. you explain it so well and you're so patient yeah so people say i have patience of joe but uh hey you know you have to you do you know you have to try to help a person see the light Mm -hmm. And that's my job. I would like people not to be so scared of their hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like, oh, what can I do? I'm away. I'm on a trip. I'm in Hawaii. Just go to the store, get this, this, and this, and you'll take. You'll, you'll be. You'll be fine. That's another yeah. call you've received from me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going yeah. to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you, you know, like mm. I don't want to go in the ocean. I'm mm. gonna mess it up. Oh and yeah, then... chlorine and, and and pools and things. Blonde hair. You know, you have this green cast. I say, okay, just go and get a, a shampoo to cancel out this green cast. And, oh, okay, all right. You know, they're out of town. Yeah. You know. mm -hmm. You're a treasure. He's well, a treasure. You. Thank you. So yeah. hopefully we'll be hearing from him more to I share bet. some tips. Thanks. And, you know, if you guys have any hair questions, leave them in the comment section. And if you enjoyed hearing from the master. Oh. Me. Please show <laughs> please show some love in the comments. Thanks so much. Thank you so much for, for coming. And then next time, I guess it's will be sister oh, time. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes. Platinum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Yes. Let me know your thoughts on platinum. <laughs> Whatever you say, we're probably gonna do it anyways. So I don't really, I don't really care. <laughs> right. We'll, we'll diet back. It looks stupid. All right. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next video. Laura Messiah. So I'm Laura Messiah. Hello. <laughs> so here I took a oversized Dodgers jersey, which is for a man. Yeah. Put a belt over it Look and some that. heels. 
we have just brought sexy back yes, you have. to the Dodgers. So, you know. I mean, the Puig jersey has never looked so good. <laughs> like this.